hanging in the Enums, and I learned that God is always with me. My favorite part about this trip was probably being able to study the Word of God with a great group of people. And one of my favorite things that we learned that was that a me first mentality is miserable. My favorite part about this trip was being able to spend quality time with my friends and family. I feel like we've all come together tight as a youth group. And what I learned from this youth trip was God cannot minister your mask and you just need to come to church and worship and be yourself. I really enjoy just getting to spend more time with the youth group and getting to know each and every one of the youth members more and more. And in our lesson, I really came to the conclusion that I've got to just stop trying to control things that aren't really in my hands and let God. And I really like these little things that you can kind of put what you want to pray about and what you need to pray about. It just really helps me. My favorite part of, the, of this trip was spending time with family and going to the island. And what I learned from this weekend is that Life is all about transition and God loves us. My favorite part of this trip was getting to spend time with our youth group and finally being in a room with just girls instead of both my brothers. Um, what I learned was to focus on who I am internally and spend more time personally with God. My favorite part of the trip was the bus ride down here getting to spend time with friends and Kate's Cove. What I learned this week is how to put or how not to fear God and what He's telling you to do. Don't be scared. Don't back away from what He's trying to tell you to do. Just do it. My favorite part about this trip has been hanging out with friends and going in the hot tub. And I've learned that God has a purpose for our life. And no matter how far away we get, go away from Him, that He's never away from us. My favorite part about this trip was going to the island and the Bible lesson. And I learned that uh, you can only be lost spiritually hungry, and no matter where you go, God's with you.